Hi there, Noam Wallenberg here. I'm a producer engineer based out of Chicago. We are looking today at some of the uses for Moises in modern production. Uh, we've looked in some previous videos at how to use the voice tone transfer, how to use some of the separation tools. Today we're gonna dive even a little deeper into the separation stuff um, once we get into the mixing process. Today we're working on a track called Belonging Forever by the artist Jennifer Hall. We are in the mixing stage of this track at this point, and we hit a snag that many, many artists hit all the time nowadays, which is we are working with a drum loop, and the drum loop has the kick drum, the snare drum, and the hi-hat all in one track. Uh, now this creates all kinds of handcuffs and restrictions on your mixing processing, right? It means that you cannot do whatever you want to those instruments because you're processing them all at once. Oftentimes I want to put compression on a drum set and I want the attack time uh, and the release time to be different on the kick and the snare drum. Oftentimes I want to EQ a hi-hat in a way that takes out some of the low-end noise and accentuates the high end. I don't necessarily want to accentuate the high end of the snare drum at the same time. So when I'm mixing something like that, in the past I would go through all kinds of uh, tricks in order to manipulate the audio in a way that only manipulates certain parts of it, right? Uh, Multi-band compression and expansion is a way to do that. Uh, EQs with mid-side separation is a way to do that, but all of those are incredibly limited, right? They all have really low ceilings as far as how much control you actually get. So today we're going to take a drum loop that we have and drop it into Moises AI and separate it out into pieces so that we can process each piece separately. So let's take a listen to our drum loop. This is a drum loop that was recorded by me, but um, recorded for another session and uh, that session is gone. So it's all in one stem. Let's take a listen. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna consolidate this stem just to the very beginning of the session, make a new audio file just so we don't have to worry about the uh, placement. And then we are gonna export this file 2448, right? That is the fidelity that we recorded this at. So we're gonna keep it there. And we're just gonna drop this into our session folder. And now we're gonna open up our, our Moises standalone app. So there's also a plugin version of this um, where it's all self-contained inside of Pro Tools called Stems. But today we're just gonna use the standalone uh, app because it gives us a little bit of extra control. So here we're in this track separation window. We're gonna hit new. I'm gonna drop my file that I just exported into this. Here is the multi-track separation, right? So if, if I was bringing in something like a full mix and I wanted to separate it out, I could pick all of the different instruments that was, was in the mix and it would kind of intelligently be able to pick out what, what it was gonna put on which stem. Today, we're just dealing with drums, but if you click on drums, you can either have drums go to one track or you can have drums go to six tracks. Kick drum, snare drum, toms, hi-hat, cymbals, and other drums, right? That's anything that it's not categorizing in those five stems it's gonna put into the other. Today, we're probably only gonna end up with three stems because we just have kick, snare, and hi-hat. So we're gonna click that and we'll hit submit. And you see down here, uh, it says hi-fi, right? 24-bit, 48 kilohertz. So if you're a pro subscriber for Moises, uh, you get all these hi-fi options that makes all the track separation much better fidelity and that is super useful if you're using it for mixing stuff. Here's our drum loop. We're gonna click on this. You can see already just visually kick drum, snare drum, everything got separated out. It's kind of hard to see the hi-hat because it's, it's really quiet. Let's just go ahead and export all of this, right? So we're gonna go to export, make sure it's waves so that we get the full res thing and then we're gonna go export all. Okay, so here we end up with a folder, a drum loop, and it gives us all of our different elements. And let's just import just the elements that we need into Pro Tools. So we're gonna take the kick, we're gonna take the snare, and we're gonna take the hi-hat. Uh, it gave us a click track as well. I don't think we need that today. So once again, here's the original drum file.
So let's listen to our stems all together. Here's without the hi-hats. Without the snare. Just the snare. It's beautiful, right? Really, really high quality, really solid, and, and gives us enough control to where now I can start shaping things, right? So if I wanna add some high-end to the hi-hats, let's say. Or if I wanna add that high end to the snare drum. So it's a complete game changer, right? It, it allows me to have a amount of control over a singular drum loop that I never would have had before. It is of a fidelity that is workable for a mix, right? It's, it's high enough quality that uh, you can actually use it and it is gonna just completely blow wide open the possibilities of, of what you can do with a mix that has uh, drum loops with multiple elements in them. Thanks for watching. Check out uh, all the other videos that we've made on how to use Moises for production.